Here are 10 beginner cardboard craft ideas. And uh, number one, we have a desk organizer. Now these are all over the place. You can find a lot on YouTube. And I have a couple examples here. Uh, and the one far on the left, that's a little bit of a different idea. But basically, a desk organizer is a great way to save space uh, on your desk. And you can craft it with cardboard to basically whatever you want. And in this video, I'm not giving you specific tutorials on how to make these. I just want to spark your ideas. So uh, a desk organizer, uh, I have one that I have personally made. Uh, that's going to be here on the far right side. Uh, and that is like one that I'll sit on my desk. There's also another option. You can look at this guy here. That's a totally custom one hanging off of my shelf. I hold all kinds of things on it. And the far left, that's literally just the boxes for these filament pieces um, held glued together, sort of like a bonus tip. It's just the packaging. I glued it together and now it keeps those organized on my shelf. Not really a super like desk organizer thing, but uh, still sort of the same idea. And then for our next idea, idea number two is a bed shelf. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you no longer will need like an end table for your bed. You can just create a little cardboard shelf. It'll hook right on there. And then you can keep the things that you need inside of there. So the advantage with this is also you can make these little things, add your pens, right? Hold stuff in there. It stays nice and tight. And um, now I have an example right here. This is the same one. And I did get a little broken because I chucked my pillow off of my bed and it smashed it. But other than that, it's held up for a very long time. There are some cool cardboard reinforcing techniques that I used on here uh, using some ribs down the sides uh, to add more strength because it's only one layer of cardboard thick. I had an extra strong like three layer rib across the front. So that's just a little bonus tip. And when you're crafting with cardboard, if you want to make something a little stronger, you can put a rib like that across it. But uh, a little extra bonus thing to watch out for is see how I cut the rib and made a gap for these hooks. Those are weak points because the cardboard doesn't actually go all the way across. So it would have been better to have the rib go all the way across the top of all of them. All right. So that brings us to our next idea. That's idea number three is models. Now, uh, you can basically make anything you want. It can be some super cool ideas. Um, you can make a model engine, a model car, right? You've got some super huge things here, like this model bike. Uh, you got a model escalator. Those are just cool ideas, but you could also make something and like paint it. So uh, you can uh, make like a model gun and like paint it and make it look really cool or do whatever you feel like making. That's kind of a classic thing to make with cardboard. But if you just let your mind tinker a little bit, sometimes you'll come up with something to make. Um, so just sit there, look around, be like, hey, maybe it'd be cool to make like a cardboard birdhouse. And then uh, you've got an idea. Idea number four is a glue gun holder. Now this can really come in clutch if you've got like an old drippy glue gun. Sometimes it helps uh, contain all of that. You can see in that image. Uh, I've also got the real one right here. Uh, it's just shock full of glue because uh, not my glue gun, but another sibling's glue gun uh, drips a lot of glue and it kind of helps maintain some of that. That one actually got like overloaded, but uh, it, it can also help keep your glue gun up and pointed down because something you don't really want to do with your glue gun is let it turn and point like upwards. So pretend this real fake gun was my glue gun and I let it point upwards. All that glue that it's melting at the end is going to try to backwash down the glue barrel and then it'll get the glue stick stuck inside. So creating a glue gun holder, if you don't have one already, can help prevent getting uh, your glue stick stuck inside the glue gun. Uh, and that's just an extra benefit right there. So idea number four is a glue gun holder. Now, we have already gone through some ideas and uh, we've got a bunch more to come, but I just thought of one uh, 11th bonus idea. So stick to the end of the video to get that as well. And also I'll have links and everything in the description below for all any like related videos that I already have to these topics if you wanna dive a little bit deeper. And now with a glue gun holder also, beware that you could potentially like melt the glue gun holder uh, if you build it with hot glue. So just be a little bit careful about that. Idea number five, this is probably my most used idea. And we have a laptop or monitor stand. And uh, I'm literally using a monitor on this same cardboard stand right now. And my laptop would be on some sort of cardboard stand, but I actually have three 3D printed uh, bolsters to hold it up uh, off of my desk. So uh, creating something like that is really cool. This one is a little bit more of a technical 
uh, creation because it's got all these folds and it's going to be very precise to fit the monitor in just right. But that's actually all just one layer of cardboard and it's durable enough to hold up this pretty heavy monitor. You can see it right here in the corner as well. Uh, that's the same monitor. You can see the cardboard stand using it right now. Uh, idea number six is an armor or shield. Uh, there's a picture of me that's Halloween a number of years ago. Boom, big cardboard shield looks totally sick um, and is pretty strong. Now on the back of that, there's actually a little secret going on. There is uh, pieces of wood glued across the back of the shield to give it some extra strength. There's about three layers of cardboard plus a couple extra ones stacked on top right there. And you can see it's an, a cardboard box. You can see the creases going across it uh, in the middle. And uh, I just put some other cool designs on there and painted it with some random paint that we had. But if you're ever making a cardboard shield, a uh, cool idea is you can take like, especially from like if you buy uh, big containers of like mixed lettuce, they'll often come in these big plastic clear containers that have nice big flat clear sections. And if you can take any sort of label off of there without leaving too much goo, you can use that as a clear section on your shield, especially if you're gonna go into like a Nerf fight uh, with like Nerf guns and battle people. You wanna be able to see through the shield. So on here, you can see the top of that, you can actually use a um, like plastic cover to get um, visibility. And I also have small slits in the middle uh, to cover that as well. Just a, a brief warning, if you do that and you're not just playing with Nerf guns, maybe somebody has like a foam sword or like something really big that they're trying to smack you with, they'll crush the plastic parts because uh, that happened to me. And actually, the um, you can see right here, this big mace thing that I made, that's just uh, like a bunch of plastic bags wadded up inside like a towel with some pool noodles across the outside and duct taped. Uh, not totally cardboard related, but also pretty cool. Uh, that same thing crushed this shield. So uh, just beware, because that was really heavy uh, by the time I finished making it. Anyway, uh, moving on. Idea number seven is a headphone stand. Um, if you have headphones, it's really annoying to have them lying around. So there, you can create like a traditional headphone stand like this. That's kind of a cheaper, like easy cardboard way to make it. Or you could be a little bit more elaborate and go with a headphone stand like the one on uh, your left. Um, and that is going to be a sort of custom kind of headphone stand I came up with. It just holds the headphones straight up and it's a little bit more durable uh, and not really easier to make, but it looks pretty sleek sitting on your desk and you can actually wrap your wires around that. And I have a whole video on that as well. Uh, but that's a pretty cool headphone stand kind of stands out from other people. And there's tons of videos on YouTube. Don't have to watch mine. Just watch whatever video you want. Once you have a cool idea, just search it up, search Google, WikiHow, all kinds of things will tell you how to make stuff. Idea number eight is a phone stand. I know we're going through a lot of like tech stands. Um, I have another video on a ton of different phone stands, but this one here is uh, got two different levels and also a slot in the back to hold your phone straight up and down uh, in like your portrait mode. So um, you can do stuff like that as well. It looks pretty cool. And then idea number nine is gonna be toy weapons. So this is a lot like props, but a little bit different because uh, props tend to be like models um, and toy weapons tend to be toy weapons. So back here also, I have a full like size gun from the first season of The Mandalorian, uh, Star Wars TV show. And uh, that's in the process of getting finished. You can see in here, we've also got like the, uh, like a stormtrooper gun that's mostly done. I have the fully painted version right here. So um, whatever seems cool to you, toy weapons are always really cool. And the, they can be a little fragile. They get pretty durable if you build them right though. And uh, a cool note about this gun behind me is that actually this tip right here is made of folded cardboard. So there's, so if you ever want to make like a strong cardboard creation, what? it's really long, you can fold those cardboard pieces. So it's like really durable, folded across the top. This is nice thick cardboard. And then on the inside, there's another piece glued in, making a strong, large triangle right there. And then that has been really durable. I've actually just like stabbed uh, people with it when they were uh, annoying me. Don't, uh, YouTube, don't censor that, this video for that. It's just cardboard. Uh, anyway, that, that's a way to make it really strong. And you also want to pay attention to what thickness of cardboard you're using when you're trying to make a strong cardboard creation because there are thin cardboards and there are thick cardboards. And the thin ones often look nicer, but the thick ones can be a little bit stronger. Or you can even get like double layered cardboard, but that's a little bit trickier to fold. 
Idea number 10, let's get that slide up there. This is um, modification. So I know I've got a phone stand pictured right there, but um, there are a lot of little things that go on that could be just a little bit better if they had like a slight modification. And an instance of that, we use like this phone stand. Um, there you can see I have the wire going through there to charge my phone. It didn't fit through the um, wood, so I just propped it up a little bit more, used a cardboard piece so it holds it there nicely now. Um, and I could have just like drilled a hole in the wood and made it a little bit bigger, but the issue was it turned too tight. That's a whole nother thing. Um, but also like on a, a shelf I had, I wanted to keep like a book sitting straight up and down. So I added like a little hook on the inside that I could like slide it into uh, using my cardboard. And so it, this is also the bed stand could almost be like a modification. So there's just a lot of different things you can do. Just again, like thinking outside the box, what could you do to like modify something to make it a little bit better? Just personally looking around right now, I could see it would be nice if maybe I put like a shelf under my desk, glued a couple things and had something to like set all these pieces that I'm now just setting on the side of my desk underneath my desk. Or maybe if I had like a little charging dock for my mouse, that would be cool. And I could just like build a charging dock and then set it in there and plug it in. The wire wouldn't be hanging around all the place all the time. Uh, and uh, so, there's, so just look around you and think of the, all the little different things that you could modify. You don't have to make something totally new. Um, I've got like a Bluetooth speaker that just sort of sits around and I'm like, oh, I could create like a little holder for that and that would keep it nice and out of the way. So uh, all kinds of things that you can modify to make them a little bit better. But ready, now we have our bonus idea. And for this, um, it's a little bit more high level, so it's okay if it, this isn't for you. These are sort of supposed to be beginner ideas, and uh, the thing with a beginner idea is you just don't have to take it to like a professional level. Most of the time, you're able to make something like uh, a glue gun holder, and it won't look super elegant. It also might end up looking nasty because people abuse it, but um, it, it, you're gonna, you're as a beginner, don't expect things to look perfect. And I think YouTube is a hard place to understand that because there are so many people on YouTube constantly making these perfect looking cardboard creations. And it's tough to like watch a video tutorial of how to make like a perfect stormtrooper helmet or watch a YouTube video on like how to make a race car track. And then you try it and it just comes out sort of like a flop. So as a beginner, what I want you to be paying attention to is just sort of getting those reps in there making something, using your creativity and making it work. But now, if you're the kind of person that might think about making something not out of cardboard, Today is your day because you can use your cardboard to prototype ideas for bigger projects. I do this all the time on my robotics team where we build like 120 pound uh, competition robots that don't destroy each other. They like complete a competition. Um, and so sometimes we'll model ideas with cardboard and then you can use those sort of references that you make super fast with cardboard and duct tape. And then once you have that all set up, you can, uh, build it out of the, your stronger materials that you want to use. So like I was saying, maybe I want to put that shelf under my desk. I could model if I wanted to actually be like really nice because I have a nice desk. I could model it with cardboard, get my spacing right, make sure it doesn't knock into my knees when it's when I'm sitting down. Then I could remodel it and make it out of wood that I put together in a much more elegant way. So that's your bonus idea at the end. But I have a question for you before you leave. Do you spend more time watching videos about how to make things or actually making things? All right. So just think about that for a little bit. Sometimes we get sort of sucked into this information swell. And the thing is, and you're only going to improve your knowledge by watching videos. And I love it when you get smarter, get more knowledge going on. But uh, you're never going to be able to actually improve your skills by watching videos. To improve your skills, you need to actually get hands on and build something and do something. And then you can supplement that with some knowledge and some ideas and a little help to keep you going. And that's what you're doing right now. You've got uh, my help, I'm helping you out right now. But now I'm telling you, if you have not made anything at all, like use any sort of like creative power within the last week, turn this video off right now, stop binging YouTube, and go and make something. God gave you a gift for creativity and it's not gonna look the same that I do. I like to make videos when I can. I like to craft with cardboard. I like to do robotics. You might like something totally different. You might be way better at art than me because I'm not actually that good at drawing or whatever you like to do, use that creativity. You might be enjoy like writing. I don't really enjoy writing a ton. You might enjoy making 
Excel spreadsheets. And then you can do that. Use your creativity uh, in the way that God gifted it to you. That's a reflection of his creative power. But that's all for today. All right. God bless you. My name's Eli Tennant. Like and subscribe if you got value to this video. And I look forward to seeing you another time.